Hi, Lex Coach Mike here, LexCoachMike.com. Listen, in this brief video, I'm just going to give you a little bit of philosophy on, on checks. You know, I mean, uh, Bill Tierney mentioned at an IMLCA conference recently, the best check is a no check, and I'm, I'm hardly even kidding. You know, we've gotten away from spending a lot of time coaching checks and more coaching position and stick on the hip or stick on the high side, put the player where we want him to go. Um, and then when they do touch the bottom hand, just a little simple two-inch lift of the hands uh, to make the shot or the pass go awry. Uh, we've been using this philosophy for about a year or so. It's cut down on the penalties, made us very effective, and um, actually even an effective check if you get beat by a step. We just call it a simple lift check, just two inches on the hands. Lax Coach Mike, laxcoachmike.com. Hope you enjoy. You know, this little two-hand lift on the hands, uh, we've gotten away from coaching all checks. You know, unless you got a guy 6'8", covering a guy 5'1", um, you know, that lift check strategy is mm -hmm. phenomenal. So no more poke, no more... No more poke, no more hack, yeah. right? I mean, when a guy's running way outside the box, you want to get your one good lick on him just to send a message? Right. Yeah, I'm cool with that, yeah. you know? Um, but, you know, play in good position. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, the rationale behind the lift is... I mean, Bill Tierney, the guy that just left Princeton to go to Denver, you know, he's known as the patriarch of today's defense. He's the guy that taught Petromala. He's the guy that taught... You know, I mean, he is the guru. You know, I told you, uh, two years ago at the IMLCA, the College Coaches Convention, you know, he started his keynote by saying, I'm going to make a controversial statement, and I'm only 20% kidding. In today's lacrosse, the best check is a no check. Because when you do go to check, 99 times out of 100, 80 times out of 100, you have put your body weight in a position to where you're susceptible to being beat, and the ball's only gonna come out three out of 10 times compared to what it would have come out 10 years ago with mm -hmm. the other sticks, mm -hmm. even less. And, and this is easy to demonstrate to the kids. You know, I have a guy hold a stick out, and you can hit it pretty hard, mm -hmm. and the ball doesn't come out. Have you ever felt like you got a great check and the ball didn't come out? Mm -hmm. You see the kids go, oh, yeah, man, that's happened to me. Okay, you know, what are we gonna do? Yeah. And I tell the kids, it's not because you can't play defense, because of the sticks. Mm. You know, it's because of the sticks. And when a guy's driving with two hands on a stick, you know, when you poke, you're poking the stick into his control zone. You know, when we lift, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Now, a lot of coaches coach lift the elbow. You know, I don't coach that. I coach lift the hands. Because I want them focused on the hands. And the stick is predicated on where the high side is, where I want him to go. Whichever way I want him to go, I want the stick on the other side even to the point of cheating with my feet, right? I mean, that, those days, I mean, you still have coaches that do it, but those days of saying, make him go to his left, right? you know, I think they're gone. A, because kids can go to their left, mm -hmm. but the other thing is that what if I want him to go to his left and it gives him a better shot at the cage? I mean, wouldn't I want to reduce his angle at, at all costs, especially if you've got a goalie that can walk and chew gum? You know, you've increased his opportunity to be successful exponentially. You know, by a guy coming down like this and shooting mm -hmm. across, you know. Yeah, so you can't go by what I say, but here's my rationale. <laughs> uh, it makes sense. I... Well, and, and the other thing is, it doesn't matter now if I got a crease guy. 